Hey everyone, this is Ian with Alpha Cars in Ural of New England. Today I'm showing you this awesome brand new 2023 Ural gear up with an Overland build on it. So we're calling this our Overland series. We can see there is dozens of accessories on this, all very exciting and all available uh, to ship right to your door from our e-store, so definitely check that out. So in this video, we're gonna learn a little bit about the Ural. So what is this Ural? Obviously it's, it's a sidecar uh, motorcycle, but we're gonna learn a bit more um, about what makes, what makes it a Ural. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go through and just show you in depth all these cool accessories that we have on it. So if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome to Alpha Cars. We share daily motoring content. So please subscribe so then you don't miss out on ultra cool things like this Ural. But now let's take a closer look. Let's start out by just briefly covering what a Ural is. This is a sidecar motorcycle. It has on-demand two-wheel drive and it comes from the factory with a sidecar. It's, it's not designed to be used without the sidecar due to the front suspension design and geometry of the bike. So like I said, they come from the factory with a sidecar and they have uh, on-demand two-wheel drive and it's a 750cc a horizontally opposed two-cylinder. It has a modern fuel injection system and it is a Five-speed, technically speaking, but it has four forward gears and one reverse gear. Yes, that's right. It's a two-wheel drive a sidecar motorcycle with a mechanical reverse gear. So this bike has our Overland package on it, has lots of awesome accessories. And first, I'll just mention uh, it has a hand shifter on it. That's one of the accessories. So this operates reverse and this operates two-wheel drive. Uh, so reverse, you would just push this forward uh, with the clutch in, with the bike in neutral, and that pops right in there. And then two-wheel drive, you actuate this lever down here. Um, so on a factory Ural, usually there's, a, there's like a heel-toe shifter um, down here, and then a, a, hand, a little hand lever um, just behind your leg. So the hand shifter really, uh, I think is very satisfying to use. You get a lot, a lot of looks from, from people being very impressed with what you're doing using a hand shifter on a you know a sidecar motorcycle just a, a very cool thing in my opinion and it is a twin plate dry clutch so uh it has separate gearbox oil separate engine oil and then it's a twin plate dry clutch as i said just like a high performance you know vehicle um, would have to have all that clamping force clamping force sorry with still a light um, a light pull on that clutch so very cool engineering behind these um, they have lots of torque and they are just so fun to ride. We've got plenty of videos of us uh, riding these on our channel if you want to just give that a search. So now let me go around the Ural and just briefly point out all these accessories which are all available on our online store. We've got a, a smoked color windshield for the rider and then also one for the passenger. This is our short windscreen for the sidecar. We have LED driving lights. Uh, mounted to the front fender so they do turn with uh, with the wheel so they point in the direction you're going and these they have these awesome robust guards on them as well as the sidecar driving lights they have the guards on them as well and our fender mounted LED light has the guard on it there too we've got uh, these high quality guards on all of the uh, running lights on it, so the rear tail light for the Ural, and then the marker lights on the fender. Uh, if you see that sticker, um, this bike is sold. This bike was actually sold uh, before we built it, <laughs> before we took it out of the crate, and the the customer wanted to go with this kind of Overland style package um, that we offer. So we helped him kind of put together the accessories he wanted. Uh, so that's why you, you see that sticker there. I just want to mention that. Um, we can build up one of these exactly how you want it, but this is our example for you of really <laughs> what can be done and more could be done if you want to do more, but this bike's already personalized, um, which is why I'm just pointing that out. We've got a sidecar rear view mirror. So whether you want to use that as the rider or position it so your passenger can use it um, so they can feel safe and have some you know, uh, situational awareness, you can do that as well. Uh, sidecar nose rack, and we have two ammo boxes mounted 
on either side of the sidecar. Those are handmade as well, I will mention, and very high quality. As you would expect, they are all mounted properly using uh, kind of these rubber isolators, so it's not gonna damage the paint of the sidecar, and it's gonna cut down on any vibrations that may be running through there as well. We've got the sidecar bumper. Um, a lot of these products we actually designed in-house, and this is one of them. Very robust, it's reinforced, you know, stainless steel mounting hardware, and it uses, uh, it's four mounting locations, and three of them are factory. You only have to drill uh, one little hole there. Super easy. Check out the reviews on our e-store. People will tell you all about it. We've got our accessory receiver. Uh, not really designed for towing, um, but so that's at your own discretion, but this is made for really like a tongue weight to put a uh, cargo basket on or like a bike rack. We can see it it clamps on to the sidecar frame there. Very sturdy, very robust. This bike has a full set of Nitron shocks on it. Very high quality, highly tunable shocks. And they're all, uh, the kit we sell, they're all matched to each respective place on the Ural. So the front ones go on the front, the rear ones go on the rear of the Ural and the sidecar um, shock goes on the sidecar. We've got a uh, first aid box mounted on the side of the sidecar. Various places you can mount these or really uh, any of these other uh, you know, ammo boxes and stuff, but this is just how the customer wanted his bike laid out. And once again, high quality, has a gasket, very thick construction, thick powder coating, and, and it has the rubber isolators as well. I've got a big external oil cooler. It's what you see these heat fins are. Awesome, awesome piece of kit there, especially if you're doing some hard riding, you know, maybe trail riding where things are slow, not a lot of airflow, and you just want to maximize, uh, you know, keeping the bike at a safe operating temperature. And that does increase the oil capacity of the bike as well, which as we know, that always helps with keeping the oil um, a bit cleaner, a bit longer. We've got a handmade uh, dashboard for the sidecar. Very awesome piece um, to look at and to use it has a little switch on it and a uh, outlet which you can wire to whatever you may want to use there and we have very affordable very simple to install uh, sidecar uh, armrest sorry I was trying, to, trying to think of the word adds a lot of comfort to your uh, sidecar for the passenger they look great as well so moving on to the left side of the ural we've got a foot box. So this full metal caged foot box, uh, this thing is awesome. Adds a lot of protection to the bike. It reinforces, um, it comes with this whole new engine bar, but it reinforces it. So now if you had like a hit um, this way, it is reinforced, so it's not gonna fold in on the engine. And these give you a lot of room of wherever you wanna put your foot, um, wherever it's comfortable. And so you can weight the bike in different ways as well if you're doing some technical riding. Uh, what else? We've got the shin guards, another very affordable, easy thing to install on both sides there. Uh, it'll keep the cold air and the debris from the road kind of, you know, up off your, your shins and legs. Moving to the cockpit, uh, Barkbuster hand guards. We have a 12 volt accessory outlet like you would find in your car. Very useful there. Uh, this really cool mount, uh, this replaces the the uh, stem clamp for the handlebars, and it has a, a ball socket on it. So the ram mount systems clamp right to this. So it's a, just a very kind of seamless way to add that to the bike in a nice location for it as well. So if I flick this switch, that was the wrong one. <laughs> so many switches to play with here. Uh, if we flick the right one, we have four-way flashers. Uh, that's another, uh, it's a wiring harness we make and very high quality and it uses uh it is literally plug and play and it uses uh we can see the factory light on the dashboard there and now this other switch i'll turn on i'll turn on this switch and i'll turn the ignition on and we can see all the lighting this zero has no matter what circumstance you are wherever you're <laughs> maybe overlanding uh camping exploring wherever you're gonna have the light output you need and you're gonna be seen. We can see even the, the headlight is LED. Uh, it's a glass uh, housing, uh, Hella glass housing, and we have a uh, 
the headlight visor on it as well, which adds to the awesome classic look and that even helps with visibility in like foggy conditions, things of that nature. It helps with glare actually. So now let's start this up and we can hear it run with that modern fuel injection system. So we're in neutral and all we're gonna do is hit the starter. So we can see no messing with a uh, choke, especially the Urals. Uh, the non-EFI ones, they have two chokes, so you have to make sure to balance out when they're cold. So that EFI system, no matter the elevation you're at, no matter the temperature or fuel quality, all you do is hit the starter and it's gonna run sweet every time. So now welcome to the riding segment. I'm gonna take this Ural for a spin around the building a few times and just kind of comment on how some of these accessories really enhance uh, the experience and the uh, usability of the Ural as well. Uh, right now, I pulled it next to kind of the woods behind our building um, in this nice little grassy area. So all we have to do is start it up and we'll be on our way. So we've got the hand shifter right here, makes it super easy. We're in neutral. All we do is push that forward and we're ready to reverse. And then once we're done, we just pull this back, pop it into first, and then we're away. Now that we're cruising around our building, very smooth. This windscreen really, even at these lower speeds, it, it really helps with blocking some of the wind. I can feel the wind just grazing my hair. And these hand guards as well, as you can see, the hand guards do an awesome job on once again, keeping that wind off your hands, especially if it's cool out, it'll keep your hands warmer a lot longer, uh, really making it safer to ride because you're gonna you're gonna keep your feeling in your hands and have better control of the motorcycle at all times. And if you're off-road and like bushwhacking, so to speak, those hand guards, they'll, they'll protect your hands uh, doing exactly what they're called, um, you know, guarding your hands from like, you know, sticks and thorns and the like if you're going through the wilderness. And now thanks to the Euro, we can go places normally you can't go at Alpha Cars. So we're gonna go on a little adventure around our second showroom. You can see a very nice Harley right here and a Porsche Boxster S. Now we're going behind our nice other showroom. And now we can do some weaving off in the off in the gravel here. So we come out next to some service cars. So much torque from the Ural. I'm just crawling right up this hill on our property. Got a nice F350 right there. That is a diesel with a manual. Very hard to find truck and rust free as well. And as we pull back around, I'll put our parking brake on and turn it off. These Urals are so fun, especially, you know, once you get these accessories on them, it really just heightens that and it, and it makes them even more practical and, and, and usable, whether you, you want to drive one of these every day or just go on, you know, uh, trips, excursions with them or, or really do everything. We have people who, who daily drive these uh, year round, um, you know, not only thanks to the Euro, but thanks to just some simple accessories that really make that, um, you know, possible and, and, you know, easily, easily doable. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in having a Euro like this built up for you, uh, these are all special order bikes, so to speak. So just give us a call, send us an email. We'd be happy to talk with you and figure out what Ural you want to start with and then exactly what accessories you want to have on it. So this has been Ian reporting from our Box Bar location. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss the latest and greatest uh, motoring content like this Ural that we give you.